John Buckner, and today we have a special guest, one of the leading graphic designers, painters, and educators at Pentagram Studio. Well known for her bold and innovative typefaces, please put your hands together for Paula Scheer. Oh, thank you for having me on the show, John. It's such an honor. Oh, no. Thank you, Paula, for taking time out of your busy schedule to be here today. And let's not waste any more of it and begin. So you graduated from Tyler's School of Art in 1970 and then moved to New York to pursue your passion of art, right? Oh, yes. After school, I was ready to go out and make my mark of the world. So where would you say was your first big job in New York? In 1972, I started working for CBS Studios for advertising and promoting. After about two years I left, I didn't want to promote art, I wanted to create it. I shortly joined Atlantic Records, but then was swept back up by CBS Studio, becoming an art designer. For the covers department. Well, tell me, after all of this, what made you leave? Well, I wanted to pursue my own endeavors. During the time I was working on some typefaces, and I started a business with Terry Gopal. I see, I see. And what ended that? Well, the recession hit us hard after six years. And me and Terry went our separate ways. Terry went to go work at Esquire. And I started consulting with Pentagram. And you've been there ever since at the New York wing of Pentagram? Yes. And ladies and gentlemen, in her time, she has been nominated and has won literally hundreds of awards and has done work with the Public Theater, Museum of Modern Art, and Microsoft. She is a monolith in our studio, and thank you once again for being here. It's been a pleasure, John. And before we go, what advice would you give to the youth of today interested in pursuing a career in graphic design? If you love it, go for it. When I was younger, I didn't think I could do anything well. And then I found art. And it helped to guide and support me, even when my friends and family didn't. So if you truly love it, then let it guide you, and in the end, you will prevail. And there you have it, folks. Paula Scherer, give her a hand. There you have it, folks. Paula Shayer. Let's give her a hand. And join us next week, where we will contact the spirit of Leonardo da Vinci and see what the Mona Lisa was really smiling about. I am your host, John Buckner, and good night, everybody. I have no self-respect.